Won't you? Yeah. Look at you, that. You've got like a steam train going on. And if you open the oil cap, I bet it's going to be a lot worse. You can feel so much pressure. It's like a steam train. So all that steam through the breather hoses straight into the inlet and uh, through the inlet manifold into the yeah it's coming to here no combustion chamber and blocks up all the spark plugs and that's why the spark plugs come out all black and sooted yeah yeah all of that is supposed to breathe oh look at that cream as well mm. It's not supposed to be like that. Look like the coolant escape from the from the exhaust. Exhaust, yeah. Yeah. And that's all of that is a mixture of coolant and the oil, oil fumes. Yeah, it's a bit oily. Stripping it. Well, before we strip it, we need to speak to the customer and make sure he authorizes or, the authorize repair. The... And then we'll mm. go from there, really. But for now, we've done what we could do. We've done a, another bit of diagnostic. And and this uh, one came for a long path, long way. Yeah. Mm. No coolant, no cool, no oil, no water. So it's a bit of a down to the user's fault sometimes. Sometimes people don't keep an eye on the things like that. But it could be where the issue happened and the, and they sucked all the coolant during the journey. Mm. You never know. Hi, welcome back to our dreaded Vauxhall Astra. 1.4 turbo you know so we done quite a few jobs to it now it keeps misfiring in the end we decided to go really deep and then uh, as you can see we took the head off again took the pistons out again because um, it keeps kept misfiring kept throwing the oil all over the spark plugs so as you can see the pistons on the floor and there you go that's a piston number one look at the state of that all the piston rings are snapped the bits of it bits of them oh look at that they're all just falling apart chunk of piston is actually missing no idea what that even is i mean i took the sump out and i didn't see that inside the sump obviously but yeah so it's not in a very good condition. So that's number one. Ooh. Piston number two. You can see all the scuff marks. I don't know where the scuff has come from. But then uh, when you look around the crown, especially this area, all of that scuffed up. Like a, it's like it's like tapered in that way. All of that is actually worn out. And the piston rings don't look in, especially the oil oil ring. It looks very clogged up and squashed up. It just does not look very good at all. But when I took the head off after it's been put back on, we noticed the, the chambers for the number one and number four cylinders covered in oil absolutely covered in oil when well, number two and three it looked they look dry yeah, sure. yeah. see we haven't done anything to the head just took it off as you can see very oily dry dry and a little bit oily here but especially this cylinder it's very very wet and that's cylinder number four and it's very wet around these valves as well. And well, 
we're going to be replacing this piston anyway and this well all the pistons really but then uh, we'll take all the valves out and we'll have to regrind them in replace the valve stem seals but anyway we'll be taking all the valves out inspecting them and regrinding them in but if they need to be replaced then we'll have to go that route as well but we'll see first we might not need to go all that far but either way we'll have to replace uh, remove them and regrind them obviously it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but before it all goes back together we'll have to be cleaned again and all need to be washed clean and then uh, lubricated at the moment it just i left it on the on a bit of a cardboard so it doesn't scratch the on the soft cardboard uh, so it doesn't actually scratch the surface of the thing underneath it in, again this is a voxel astro 1.4 turbo as i said before and then uh, basically it kind of keeps coming up with a random misfire detected that's all it is just a misfire uh originally it came in it didn't have any oil in it didn't have any coolant in it so it's overheated and uh so most likely what happened is um it's actually overheated quite a bit and that's probably what caused the piston rings to crack on the first place or maybe it was the other way around maybe the piston rings cracked and that's what starts throwing the oil in it and but that wouldn't explain the overheating and why it didn't have any coolant in the car but uh, yeah but the head head was pressure tested skimmed and um, it, and it come all past the pressure test nicely so um, but I said like we check compressions before and they seem to be okay but uh, when when we took it apart I still don't know why the compressions were good because that piston is it's broken up the piston rings all all snapped to, to pieces and uh yeah so we're gonna do in the cylinders if you look i don't know on a certain light you probably see you, you can see scars uh scuffs on a like a bit of a scuffing going up and down sort of thing yeah that's it and same on the number two cylinder, you can see very much of a scarring going on. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll use our honing tool. Number, you know, three and four don't look too bad. Yeah, you're supposed to, well, you spoke, oh, it's like, you're supposed to use something like in this cylinder. Uh, maybe you can't even see it probably on the light, but then... Uh, it's supposed to be like a crisscross pattern. It's supposed to be like a lines that way and lines that way sort of a thing. Like a, well, it is like a literally cr crisscross sort of a thing, hash, hash sort of a pattern, but sideways. But instead, we have a lines going that way. So what we do with the honing tool, you go up and down. So it basically leaves them grooves, not grooves, but the marks that way instead of a, that way or that way mm. and that basically helps to for the oil to be not to splat it into the pistons but get splat, uh, picked up by the piston ring and pushed down back into the sump but now explains why the engine was breathing so heavily because when we took the dipstick it literally sounded like a sounded like a track you know like a like a tutu train oil oil was like puffing away and you can feel a com compression so as if uh, you can see the like a um, compression was escaping into the oil into the sump basically pressurizing the oil chamber underneath and that's what was causing all the puffing away and now it explains why we had that puffing away because obviously the compression was escaping down into the oil through that broken piston basically and the piston rings so that's basically what we we're doing at the moment but now we 
we have to order new pistons and so we'll have to wait for the parts to arrive and while while it's arriving uh, we will uh, check the valves uh, obviously while the valves are out we'll replace the valve stem seals but that's obviously a common sense to do because they're seals and uh, it's very difficult to replace them with a head attached it's possible to replace them with a head still at attached to the vehicle but it's not as easy much easier when the valves are out you just pull them out push new one in done you know simple but for the sake of few few quid but they're worse you know it's not worth not changing them so that's what we're going to be doing and we'll keep you update when we have a bit of a more progress with this vehicle and uh yeah i thought that we'll have a little video just to update what's happening to this our dreaded dreaded astra and uh Hopefully, we'll have a bit more luck the second time around. <laughs> well, thanks for watching and see you soon again. Ta -ra. Right. But now, the running engine runs smooth as anything. Yeah, so at last, we finally got to the, to the bottom of the problem. Got new pistons, we had gasket, head bolts. The timing chain was already replaced. Everything we timed. This engine was running for about maybe two hours now. And there's still not a hint of a problem. No overheating. The fan keeps kicking in. So I'm happy with this job now. So it looks lovely. Now, if you've got a misfire in this one, uh, Astra K or maybe Corsa with, a, with this uh, 1.4 turbo engine, the newer type uh, from 2016 on, then um, more likely to be a problem with um, broken pistons. And uh, yeah, so an old Vauxhall main dealers, they will just put new engine in. We managed to put pistons in and, uh, and the engine uh, and the problem is solved. We obviously had to rehome the, the cylinders because they were a bit scored with the uh, broken piston rings. So I've rehomed it and they, you know, like I cleaned the cylinders out and it's, look, it's lovely run smooth as anything so and uh, yeah well that's the problem the broken piston rings and chunk of piston was missing also and that's where he's losing compression and that's why they're splatting the oil back onto the spark plugs contaminating the spark plugs with oil making the engine misfire and also chucking a whole bunch of uh, white smoke through the exhaust burning the oil basically and now the problem is solved. No smoking. Even before you start the engine, it will smoke quite heavily until it warms up and then it's, it's slightly less smoky, but now it's no smoke at all. So, well, there you go. Got to the point. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe or comment and then um, get back to us again and see you in the next video. Thanks for now. Bye.